Well, hi again, guys. It is still Wednesday. It's around 4.30. No, it's not. It's 5.17. What do I bother owning a clock or a calendar? Anyway, this time around, I propped up my camera, my phone, on my desk, and I'm going to do a little haul. I was about to take a little nap, and then I heard the UPS guy outside, and I got excited. My false eyelashes today are so long, they're banging up against my readers. Um, so yeah, I kind of got up because I was waiting for something from Torrid and from Venus. And I'm having a drink of the Pamplemousse La Croix, La Croix, La Croix, La Croix. Um, the Pamplemousse, which I found out, as we discussed, is grapefruit flavor. So I mixed it with some um, sparkling ice cranberry, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead with the haul or the unboxing. It's not a haul, it's an unboxing. All right, I think from Torrid, these are just two pairs of leggings I got. Whenever their leggings are on sale, I run. I don't walk to buy them because honestly, I have a weirdly shaped plus size body and I live for their size threes. Like their size three leggings in all their ideations and styles and colors. I live. Yes, right off the bat, right from the jump, I love these. Love these. This pattern is, um, first of all, they're 95% cotton, 5% spandex, which is perfect for weight and give, and the fact that they're completely opaque. The size three just fits me perfectly. The waistband is wide. It has some, like, coverage, you know, like some tummy control, but the waistband never rolls down. And if you can see this pattern, it's kind of a paisley, which I don't usually like, but I really like these sort of fall colors. I have a lot of light behind me, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but I forget what this name is called, the name of this pattern. Uh, this is either Filigree Burnout or Diamond Tribal. I'm going to say it's Filigree Burnout. I don't see any diamonds in this. Who the hell knows? It's just a great neutral. This and boots and like a long tunic or a long t-shirt or hoodie is my uniform for fall and winter. Like that is my outfit. Casual, comfortable, kind of chic. I don't know. A little bit sexy. All right. Here is the... Maybe this is the burnout. The light in here is terrible. But um, in the background is Robin the Explorer's Live, which I think ended. This might be on like a repeat loop. What do we have here? They just look black, but they can't just be black because they're supposed to be called something. Wow, they sent me the wrong ones. Hold on. This is crazy. This is crazy. I think they just sent me plain size three black yeah. leggings. My goodness. Torrid. This is supposed to be Diamond Tribal or Filigree Burnout. Oh, my bad. It is Filigree Burnout. It's very subtle. That's the Burnout and that's the Filigree. So you can see through them a little bit. I never did go and get my nails done today because my friend canceled. And um, although I could go alone, I decided um, because I'm working the overnight tonight, I should take a nap, which I'm not doing because I'm doing this. Let's take a vote. Should I get a fill and go on with the fake ones or grow these out? I'm not giving you the finger. It's my ring finger because they're starting to get long. If I do this, I gotta grow these all out. I gotta grow them all out, which takes a long time. But my nails are pretty um, healthy and thick underneath, so. So I'm happy, two pairs of leggings. I now own about seven or eight pairs and that's gonna get me through the whole winter. I wish I was a size two, but I'm not, I'm a three. Which is what, a 20, 22? No, it's a 22, 24. My ideal size in Tori is 20, but most of the stuff is like 1820 or 2224, and I'd rather things be a little big than too small on me. Now the exciting bit, penis. 
All right, let me grab my scissors. Venus is kind of like one of those cheaper companies, but it's like really interesting clothing. It's like not stuff you kind of see coming and going. It's inexpensive. It's a little on the sexy side. Um, I discovered that their plus sizes do fit me. So let's see. Sometimes I don't look at the packing slip because I want to be surprised because my memory is so bad. It's almost like a present to myself and I completely forgot what I ordered. I guess that's not that uncommon, right? Hold up. Let's fix this. I kind of knew that was going to happen at some point. All right, guys, the first item. Oh, my goodness. I already love this at first glance because I'm so enamored of these colors. For fall, this is a velvet. Yikes, I got a 3X. Look at this blouse. Look at this teal. Bell sleeve. Velvet top. Oh, my goodness. I guess kind of the back. Um, I think it'll fit. I think that I suspected it would run small. That's why I got the 3X. Uh, when things are made in China, it's made in the Philippines. They tend to say they're ginormous, but they're not. I don't think Asian people realize just how huge we Americans are. Oh my goodness. With a pair of skinny jeans or leggings. That's going to be hot. I can't wait. Pardon my underarm. Jesus. Okay, so that's a success. I'll try it on. Maybe I'll do a, um, a vlog tomorrow. Excuse me. Once this uh, grapefruit seltzer is over with, I'm never buying it again. Next up, this is Red Multi. Oh, this is a peplum top. I like peplum if it's not too short. I'm not quite as tall as I used to be. I've shrunk, although this way, not this way. So this might work, but you know, if not, I return it. This is a size 2X. Also just a nice, pretty fall paisley. Kind of boho. I never used to like paisley, but now I do. It's a little bit sheer. It's a little bit low. This will have to be warmer, the camisole. Let me just hold it up. It's got the ruching, which may or may not fit my large gut. Gotta try it on, right? I see leopard. I spot leopard. Get it? Oh my god, this is so soft. Oh, you know what this is? This was on clearance because it's summer. This is a romper. This is like a shorts, what do they call it? Overall shorts with pockets. Even if I just wear these as pajamas, they're soft. They have a pocket. I don't even hold these up. Uh, they look rather huge. Check out the waist on this. Whoa. And they have little back pockets. What size did I get? This was like $11. This is a 2X. And what's it made out of? It's super soft. It is super soft. Oh my God, that is cute. Okay. I'm now officially in a much better mood. Oh, this one's pretty as hell. Oh my God. Pink velvet and black lace camisole, which can be a blouse under a sweater, could be worn to bed for, you know, those non-sexual encounters I have. It looks very holiday-ish to me and very pretty. And this was also on clearance, so I had to have it. Size 3X, unfortunately. 
Oh, this looks like a nice um, black t-shirt, I think. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no, you know what this is? This is like a $6 basic camisole. I always stock up on these two. I think it's all cotton. Just a basic black camisole. Medium weight. So it kind of holds you in if you don't want to wear a bra. Where's the... um? Where's the label on it? Oh, good. This is... No, my bad. This is nylon and spandex. It's not cotton. But that's okay. It's a good layering piece. <laughs> the hell is this? Black. Oh, my God, guys. I think I got something that might be too outrageous even for me. I think this is a rhinestone-studded jumps jumpsuit. It feels heavy. Good grief, what is this? Oh my god. Looks like something a dominatrix would wear. Check it out. There's even like a neck piece to this. Oh my lord in heaven. This goes down the back. This goes around the neck. Good grief. This might wind up being returned. What size is this? U.S. size 22. It's crazy, y'all. Does it have pockets at least? Please have pockets. Oh my god, it's really heavy. This is like freaking chain mail. It's so sparkly. I have no idea. Something tells me that is going back. And this looks like just a t-shirt. Oh no, I know what this is. This is a t-shirt with mesh um, in, inlay, inset, inlay, size 2X, I couldn't decide if I should get the 2X or 3X in this, just your basic red t-shirt, but it's got like princess seams down the back, so it's like a little bit shaping, uh, I don't usually like plain t-shirts, but I like that this has a V inset. So it's like just enough detail to make it interesting. Obviously, I can't wear this with pink lipstick, but. And there's supposed to be something black, too. Maybe it's going to come separately. And I think this is some jewelry. I know, I'm compulsive and impulsive, but I didn't spend that much. Okay, so Venus is known for their outrageous jewelry. And sometimes if you don't read the dimensions, you look at something and you go, oh, that looks interesting and wearable. But then you realize it's like really long and dramatic, but these just spoke to me. Oh my god, that is really, that is like really taped up. Sometimes I'm not sure, like if I'm dressed tacky or not. I'm getting like more outrageous the older I get instead of more subdued. But it's kind of like go big or go home. If you're going to wear jewelry, get noticed. I mean, I'm just not a subtle person. Somebody at work the other day said I remind them of a biker chick. Oh, yeah, well, these are kind of biker chick looking. Double hoops that are like studded. Yeah, I like these. I'll rock those. Although usually I don't like things that have a stud in the back. I like a fish hook closure because it's easier with the nails. But those are going to be fun. Those are good, right, guys? Even if not, you're not the ones wearing them. Now there's supposed to be another pair. Where did you go, damn it? All right, these are going to be the ones that are crazy. These ones, I think, are very long. Venus, if you will, please send the little girl for me to thrill. A girl with yellow feathers in her hair. Who sang Hey Venus? 
Oh, Jesus. Whoa! All right, you know what? We're putting these bad boys on. I think they're probably... I think one of the reasons they're being squeamish about it is I don't think they want to talk about it because they live in a sort of county. Venus, goddess of love that you are. I just wonder if they've done something. Surely the things I ask can't be too hard a task. That song is from the 50s, guys. So this is a little gunmetal hoop. Oh, God, these are crazy. With a pearl. Whoops. Do I have that on right? They're very long and very dramatic. They actually are shoulder dusters. And they're chains... I like them. If when I wear them, I'm not going to wear them with a necklace because they're a statement piece. But they're silky and long and sexy and fun, and they'll catch the light. Very weird backing. Very soft rubber backing. That's really not going to work for me. That's crazy. I mean, luckily I have other earring backs, but it's rubber. Going on 17 minutes of this, guys. All right. There's no point in putting the other one on. But yeah, that's what they look like. Fun. Fun and a little crazy. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. So that's it. A bunch of tops, a weird, crazy jumpsuit, my leggings, and always save the packing slip so that you can send stuff back, right? All right, guys. Take it easy. I really should take a rest now, but I'm not tired. That's the problem with working nights. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Happy hump day.